guys, how are you? Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about- Wait, camera, I'm over here! Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a language that I don't talk about often, Italian. So as you guys may know, I am learning Italian and I recently took the NIE exam, the National Italian Exam, and I wanted to talk about it with you guys. The reason I wanted to talk to you guys about the NIE exam is because when I was researching and studying and trying to learn more about the exam, I couldn't find a lot of info. So today I'm going to be covering the history, the whole process, my experience, and then how I studied and my tips for the exam. Let's get started. This exam was established in 1985 and it was meant for middle and high school students of the AATI, which means the American Association of Teachers of Italian, which means that your teacher needs to be part of this association for you to be able to partake and be able to do this exam or competition. And the good thing about this exam is that you can use it to prepare yourself for these exams. And if you want to learn more about the NIE and the AATI, go to nationalitalianexam.org. Think of this exam as kind of a competition against all the other American students that are also learning Italian and that are taking this test. If you're able to beat them, or get to a certain percentile, then you're able to get certain awards, such as medals, money, and you may be able to get study trips to Italy. And if you already signed up for the NIE exam for 2021, either in November or February, then you should be taking the test between March 15th and April 15th. Now I'm going to share with you guys the whole process of signing up and paying and all that. So number one, you need to pay a fee to be able to participate and, you know, do the exam. So you have to pay $8 if your teacher is part of the AATI, or if your teacher is not part of it, you have to pay $12. And once you already pay, then you're going to get a code and you're going to go to the website Lingco, and you're going to be taking the exam through that website. And this exam has five different levels and three different categories. So there are five different levels, which all depends on how many years you've been studying Italian. Your teacher should be the one to tell you if you're level one, two, three, four, or five. And now for the categories. There are three categories, categories A, B, and C. Category A is for the people that only think about and study Italian in school. Category B is for the people that have had exposure to Italian outside of school or that speak another Roman language, such as French or Spanish. And then category C is for the people that have Italian family members or that are bilingual Italian and English. And now how to prepare for the exam. So my teacher didn't know much about what was going to be on the exam because they don't give a lot of information about that. But they do give you practice exams. So I was able to practice with the 2019 exam. And to be able to get access to that exam, you need to go to the nationalitalianexam.org website. And then you need to go on top, it should say prepare. And then you should be able to get practice exams. And they have that for all the different levels. I was studying, I was studying and preparing myself with information that I would kind of use in a daily life if I was in Italy, because that is what I expected them to quiz me on. And I was right. In my opinion, most of the information that they asked and that I was quizzed on was things that you would hear and talk about and read in your daily life. And just in case you didn't know, there are two parts to the exam, listening and reading. So for the reading exam, like I would practice by reading different brochures or articles and I would just find Italian articles and trying to understand them. 
And then for the listening ones, I would watch maybe some TV shows and I would learn vocabulary that, you know, you would use in your daily life, such as family, such as activities after school, and then hours and locations and that kind of stuff. If you want to get more information on specifically your level, I recommend going to their website. Now that I share with you guys all of the information, I'm sure some of you guys are thinking, but Gallo, why do I need to take the exam? You don't need to take the exam, but I highly recommend you to do so. Number one, because some of us need deadlines. That is the case for me. I knew that on March 15th, I would take this exam, so I knew I had to get better. I studied and studied and improved, and I learned a lot. Number two, to help you for college. We know that here in America, colleges really like seeing these accomplishments and awards on your application. So why not take them now in high school to help you in the future? Number three, for work. So one of the reasons that we are learning new languages is to help us in the future. And the future is work. And it will look a lot better when you apply that you took this exam. And it will also show that you know how to speak Italian. And lastly, guys, you're putting so much effort into learning a new language. Why not take this exam? It doesn't cost that much, and it can also help you to know what you need to improve. Do you need to improve your reading or your listening or just what topics and all of that? So I really recommend you guys to do it. Well, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if you're learning Italian. Well, I guess the cameraman wants to stop. Bye, guys.